What's up guys, it's Joseph, and this is going to be a quick video on how I turned this CMMG charging handle into a gas defeating charging handle. So I put a little gasket in here, just like how the Silencer Co. gas defeating charging handle uses a gasket to seal off the back end of your AR. If you don't know what I'm talking about, here's a link to my review video on the Silencer Co. gas defeating charging handle. The first thing I did is I went and found some cord stock of the gasket itself. Silencer Co. recommends 55A fluoroelastomer o-ring material, but I found it in cord stock form, so that just means a really long string of this material. And that was at McMaster Car, where I found it. You'll want to Google that. There's the part number. This is what came in the Silencer Co. box. This is a piece of this, the cord stock. Uh, they feel identical. They're the same exact uh, size. And they behave like identical. To make the channel that the gasket goes in, I use this Walmart Dremel tool, which came with different sized inserts. So this is the 1 16th insert. The channel has an undercut to help retain the gasket. So this is just like a side profile of the channel. It's about 1.3 millimeters here, 1.3 millimeters deep, and then at the very bottom it's like about 1.5 millimeters, or maybe a little bit more. But as you can see, the walls converge going up, and that helps keep the gasket uh, inside of there, so just a little bit of the gasket is showing. To cut the channel, I used some old dental burrs that I have from dental school, so specifically that brand. But you can find these in 10 packs on eBay for like about 11 or 12 dollars and so this the ones that I used are the friction grip 4 so that's that ball shaped one and then the friction grip 35 which is an inverted cone before you start cutting you're gonna wanna put the charging handle in use a lead pencil and mark around where the receiver actually touches the charging handle because that's where you're gonna wanna cut the channel out so you can see I already penciled in some marks so if I were gonna do this charging handle then I would basically use these lines right here. I would go ahead and draw in the channel like right in the middle of these lines. So, or I mean just draw a line, literally a line that you're gonna follow. And then the line is gonna come up, you know, obviously not that close to that tip, but just like go through the middle like this. I use the round burr first. I put the, the round burr basically goes like almost all the way in. You can see how it buries the head inside of that channel. I wouldn't say it was easy, you have to be like super steady when you're following the line that you drew. So you cut out however much you want. You can see on the one that I did, I only cut out uh, the left side because that's where my face is at. So my face is getting blocked from the gas and then the rest of the gas can just go out to the right side. After I made the main cut with the round bird, then I went to the inverted cone and I just cut, made that undercut to retain the gasket in there. So this is the second charging handle I tried it on. This is the first charging handle I tried it on. So you can see I kind of went a little wide when I went up to the top. Uh, not as smooth as this one, but yeah, they both actually work. Both of them are working to block gas from getting to my face and then I guess the gas is going out to the right and out of the action. So here's my Daniel Defense DDM4 PDW upper in 300 blackout. And then here's the CMMG charging handle that I modified. When I put this in there, you won't be able to see any light where the gasket is. Only a little bit of a pinhole of light at the very leading edge where I didn't take it all the way to the front. So you can see light uh, a little bit right there. And then when I put it in, it's all sealed up except for that little pinhole right there. And if your charging handle slot and the top of your lower receiver line up perfectly, you're going to get a perfect seal with that gasket except if they don't, so like in the case of my PDW upper and my radian lower, they didn't quite match up perfectly. And I'm gonna show in another video how I put this piece of Gorilla Tape. So if you don't know, Gorilla Tape is permanent tape basically. That gasket pushes into the tape and is giving me a perfect seal. And I've racked the charging handle like at least over 50 times and that tape is still staying there. So. I'll show you guys how I did that in the next video. Alright guys, that's about it. If you guys have any comments or questions, leave that in the comment section and I'll get back to you. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, and share, and then I'll talk to you guys next time. I sealed up that first radian lower with Gorilla Tape, but next time I'm going to try some T-Rex tape and I can see which one lasts longer.